Welcome to Pain, Passion, and Purpose. I am your host, Shakita Torres, where I share mental health education, biblical teachings, and tips to help you to heal on purpose so you can walk boldly in your God-given purpose. This podcast is sponsored by Empowered Purpose Academy, a certified online Christian academy where we provide services such as certification for Christian life coaches, Mentorship for master's level aspiring and existing Christian therapists. Mentorship for Christians and continued education courses for the body of Christ. You can visit www.empoweredpurposeacademy to learn more and to download your free guide. If you like today's episode, please subscribe and leave us a raving review so that others can tap into the knowledge and wisdom that will be shared on this podcast. Thank you so much for being here. Just a moment. Hello, welcome. Welcome to YouTube, Facebook, and on Instagram. Uh, Thank you all so much for being here. Um, As I said before, uh, those of you who are coming to watch the replay later, be sure to put hashtag replay, okay? If you can stay, great. If you can't stay, um, that's okay as well. But I have a specific message (laughs) that the Lord um, put on my heart on Monday Um, to share with you all. And initially, I didn't think that it was a word for the body, but it was. Okay. So before um, I get into that, um, I'll say a quick prayer and then I'll get into um, today's um, word from God called uh, a message for consumers and creators on social media. Okay. Um, So Father, I just thank you right now for your word. Holy Spirit, I ask you, God, to speak through me to have your way. Father, I ask you, God, that you just, uh, just... Be with your people, Lord. I pray that um, that God, they will hear your word. They will take heed to your word and not um, operate in a spirit of offense, but to accept your word, accept your correction, um, and to come to you, Lord God, for instructions. And so, God, we just thank you today for your word. In Christ's name I pray. Amen and amen. And so, yes, this word is going to be a word for um, edification, and it is going to be correction, you guys. And as I said before, um, initially, I thought this word was just for me, but the Lord let me know, no, my body needs to hear this word um, this week. (laughs) And so I'll go ahead and get into it, okay? Um, And so Monday night uh, was Sunday night going into Monday morning. I had a very specific dream. And I was surprised I have had that dream because I already knew that people feel that way about me and my services, right? Um, but I just kept on pushing, kept on pushing. So before I get into the word, let me share with you my dream first, okay? So in my dream, um, I saw this young lady. Um, she and I was talking about one of my programs, okay, that I have. And I was telling her about the program, you know, how much the program costs and things of that nature. And um, she said, well, she was really nice in the, in the beginning. And she said, well, does that program include me sitting at your feet and learning from you and like being up under you? Right. And I was like, um, no. And so for some of you guys who know, you know, know what that means, you know, if you don't, that means the person, you know, wants to pretty much glean from you and learn from you one on one. Right. And I said, no, I said, this program isn't designed um, for you to sit at my feet. I said, it's designed for you to, you know, learn. And then we'll come together every month as a group to learn uh, the material. And pretty much that's it. Right. And she completely transformed and became very, very angry with me. It was like, well, I don't want your program being. I mean, it is completely changed. Okay. And in my dream, I became very, very frustrated. Okay. And so I woke up from my dream. I had to get up, get ready for, you know, for work, go to the gym, all that good stuff. And and I'm going to the gym. The Lord is like speaking to me a little bit. I'm like, Lord, I'm like, I already know that this happened. I've definitely experienced that before, but not from a point of like they're in my face and they're like telling me this in my face. But I've had people reach out that wants, you know, my program, be a part of my stuff, but they want to be actually like up under me. OK. <laughs> and this is what the Lord told me. He said many people want to sit under a lot of creators feet, but they do not want to pay the price. 
okay and so in a nutshell what god was showing me he was like, i want you to give a, a message to consumers and creators for consumers is going to be some correction for creator is going to be encouragement to be honest with you all full transparency here okay and so what the lord was showing me he was like um social media has definitely spoiled society okay <laughs> so before i get into well, let me share with you this word i'm gonna give you some scripture to go along with y'all god was just giving me so much and i asked him like, okay god like help me concise this word so where it's it's like digestible to your people and they could understand exactly what you are saying okay and so my prayer is that you will receive this word and as you receive this word god can do a work in your heart and then you will reap a harvest and reap a blessings from today's word okay and not only that, I had to go to God. Oh my God, I want to make sure my heart is right. I want to make sure that whatever you're telling me to share, that I'm sharing it from a pure place and not a place of bitterness or frustration. I don't, I don't ever want to come up here on any platform, no matter where I go and operate from that place. I've been there. I've done that, meaning I've experienced that before from other people. And it's not a good look. <laughs> it does not look good. It does not feel good. And so I told myself, I told God, God, please like check me. Like, make sure, I want to make sure that I'm operating from a pure and sincere place, right? And so I made sure I checked, I checked Shakita, okay? So, but anywho, um, the word is coming from 2 Timothy um, chapter 3, verses 1 through 9. And so I'm going to kind of paraphrase it and not read the whole entire thing. Um, but this is what it says here. In the last days, there will come times of difficulty. People will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, brutal, not loving good, and so much more. Okay, I'm not going to go into all that part, but if you want to go back and read it, please do. And in the end, it says here, avoid such people. For among them are those who creep into households and capture weak women, burdened with sins and led astray by various passions. So pretty much what God was showing me is that we have a very, we are living in a generation of people who are very ungrateful. This is not for all people. This is not for those of you who are saying, hey, you know, that's not me. I don't fit in that category as a consumer. I don't mind sowing into what God want me to sow into, but I don't have it now. This word is not for you. This is for those of you who have a sphere of entitlement and you feel like because, you know, you have access to a person, you're supposed to have full access to them. And God saying that is not the case. That is not true. That is not accurate. OK. And so what's happening is we have kingdom creators. OK. People who are on social media, different platforms who are pouring out their oil, pouring out their time, pouring out their knowledge unto his people. Right. Because God has led them to. And is a part of their kingdom business okay and so because of that many people have become somewhat spoiled and they're used to getting a whole bunch of free content okay and so whenever the consumer is reaching out to god's kingdom creatives right and they're asking them for services and the creator is telling them hey this is what i charge for a b c d e f g right whatever they have going on but then they tell you that and you become um angry or disgusted or you have a spirit of entitlement to think that the thing they have, you know, to work with them one on one of their programs is supposed to be extremely cheap or at no cost at all to you. OK, and that's not fair. That's not fair. Number one to God, y'all. That's not fair to the Lord. God is a God of order. OK. I've always heard this saying, and this is so true. Salvation is free, but breakthrough and the anointing comes with a cost. It comes with a cost. And I've been in, you know, a kingdompreneur since 2017. And I have seen a lot. Okay. I have experienced a lot. Okay. When it came to people who are ungrateful, <laughs> ungrateful, and it can be very frustrating for, you know, kingdom creators or people who are in business, right? When people become so ungrateful and think that somebody owes them something, nobody owes us anything. No one, no, no one owes us nothing. Okay. 
the things I can seek for myself that I put up on social media is because the Lord is leading me to do it and because I want to do it, right? I want to pour out into God's people. I want to share my knowledge and my wisdom, right? But if you want to work with me one-on-one or be a part of my programs, you're going to pay a price, period, because it's a business, okay? It is a business, okay? It is, I, I have to, it takes money to create all this stuff, time and money. And people sometimes think because a person is a Christian or a believer that it should be very inexpensive or almost free. And that's not true. That is so not true. So I know for a fact, you know, other kingdom creators who deal with this and many of us, we don't vocalize this publicly because we know that, you know, God got us. Right. We know that God is going to continue to lead us and guide us. Right. And we, I understand that my harvest is not going to be connected to where I always sow at. OK, so where I sow at. Right. I might not reap a harvest there. It could be somewhere else. OK, so God had to tell me that. Right. And that's the same thing for you guys who were kingdom creators. Remember that where you sow is not always what you're going to um, be reaping. OK. And so this is what the Lord showed me. He said, tell the people who are consumers who have this mindset now. Once again, I might say that this is people who are saying, hey, I don't have it to, to invest right now. Hey, you know, I'm like right now I'm on a budget. Listen, I get it. I understand, like, do what God is telling you to do. But the Lord showed me, he told me, he said, there is instructions that I have specifically given some of the consumers on social media on who to invest with, who to work with, who to be a part of their program. And because they don't like the price or because they don't like, right, the, the process or whatever, they don't want to do it. But the Lord said that you are hindering your own growth and your own pro um, breakthrough in your own process, my God. And so and you are, you are literally holding up God's hands and God's blessing that he had for you because you refuse to sacrifice and you refuse to sow. And I can say this for myself, like there's people like they can say it like to me and like, 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 you know, exact words, but they'll come back and say, man, the Lord told me to work with you a year ago, but I chose somebody else and I'm still stuck in the same place I was last year because they were disobedient. Though I understand that we all have people that we are assigned to, every single last one of us who are in ministry, okay? And so when God is telling you, okay, I need for you to go sow into Johnny. I need for you to go work with him, right? Be obedient because on the other side of that for you is breakthrough. It is breakthrough, y'all. Y'all cannot judge who you should work with based off of what you see. You have to be led by the Holy Spirit. Let me give you some examples in scripture and let me also give you my own personal testimonies too, okay? And so God reminded me, he said, look at David, look at Joseph, right? David became king, but you got, it was a process for him to get there. He had to sacrifice, right? He had to go through some things to get there. Same thing with Joseph. He had to go through some things to get to where God want him to be. And for those of you who are consumers, you guys have mighty calls on your life too. But it is a process to get there, okay? It is a long journey. I'm going to sit here and tell you, it's hard work. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. But by the grace of God, God can help you get there if you obey. If you obey him, okay? Obey the Lord. And so, in um, reference to my own personal testimony, I remember about two years ago, I had a coaching client. You know, she reached out to me. I uh, wanted to work with me. She, she told me, you know what? I can't afford it. I'm like, okay, fine. I'm a kind of person. I'm not going to manipulate nobody to work with me. I don't like marketing manipulation. I can't stand it. <laughs> I don't want anybody to do me that way. Um, and so that's a long story. I'm going to leave that right there on the table for right now. But I remember um, she reached out. And so then maybe like a month passed by and she said, God keeps telling me to work with you. He keeps telling me to work with you because you have something that I need. And so she finally did make her first payment. And like within a week, the Lord had literally erased her credit card debt. He erased her credit card debt, you guys. But she was able to pay to work with me and she received so much. She received so much breakthrough. And it literally like was like a launching pad for her to go under go into like, you know, the direction God wanted her to be in, y'all. And I have so many people that has happened to where God has told them, hey, like, 
you know, work with her or they've been being like, you know, on Google, Google and stuff. Right. I pop up. I'm like, oh, my God, I saw you on, you know, Google. I saw you on social media and like you were highlighted to me. And the Lord said work with her. Right. And some of them were obedient. Some of them were not obedient. OK. And so that's what God is doing to some of you guys for other people, for other creators. OK. For other people who God has sent to help you. But you are not being obedient to what God's asking you to do. And the client before, I'll never forget. This was like actually kind of recent. And um, she reached out um, such hey, Shakita, you know, God told me to work with you. What's your price? Boom, here's my price, right? Make a decision in between you and the Lord, right? So she finally signed up and she was like, Oh my God. She was like, That was very difficult for me to hit that send button to submit my payment. She said, But after our session, she was so, Oh my God, she received so much clarity. She received so much insight about her own personal situation and it literally opened up other doors for her and gave her, Oh, it was so beautiful. Like God just moved you, God. He moved, right? And no, you. You're not paying for me. I know I'm a prophet. You're not paying for a prophecy in itself, but you're paying for my skill set. I'm a trained therapist and I'm also a trained life coach. Okay. And so I have so much experience in that area along with my gifts coming together. It's powerful. Okay. Because God's able to let me see from a, a mental health perspective, but also, you know, hearing what he wants this person to do and what they need to have breakthrough and get to the next level. It's only an example. I remember years ago, this was my baby, like 2018, when I was doing therapy and um, one particular insurance company, I was waiting for um, them to uh, get me on their panel. And I had a client I had been seeing for about a year or so, but she had a different ins insurance. Her insurance changed to the one that I was not working with yet. And so one morning, the Lord was like, I need to talk to you. I'm like, oh, OK, guy, what's, what's going on? Right. So he began to minister to me about so many different things. And he told me, hey, tell this person if they pay out of pocket and they sold into pretty much their, their healing and what they need from you, tell them that I'll break the spirit of poverty off their life. That's what God told me to tell her. And I was a little shocked. I was like, OK, God, I'm like, wow. OK, so I see her an email. And she told me, Shakita, that was confirmation. God had already told her to do that. And so it wasn't me manipulating her. It wasn't me trying to put a word in her heart and her mind to get her to come see me for therapy. But the Lord told her the same exact thing, you guys, the same exact thing. And so, you know, some of you guys are still stuck because of your disobedience. Some of you guys are still stuck because you refuse to do what God's asking you to do. And I personally, I want to see God's people free. Okay. No matter where you go, I want to see you free and receive what it is that God has for you. And so what do you do, right? If you're that person in that category who was consuming, 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 and never investing in what God's asking you to invest in, the Lord said, just repent, okay? Let's go back and look at King David, right? David, oh my God, he ended up having a spirit of entitlement too. Whenever he took Bathsheba and whenever he made her his wife and he killed her husband, okay, he had a spirit of entitlement which fall under the spirit of pride. When you have entitlement and you have an attitude and you're nasty to someone that you know God has called you to work with or you have, you know, or they have something, you know, that you want or you want to, you know, to learn from and you have an attitude about it, that's entitlement. That's if that's pride. Once again, nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes you absolutely nothing. And so I've definitely dealt with that before. Well, y'all, I can tell y'all so many stories. Like he can reach out and I'm not responding to them the way they, you know, whether, you know, I, you know, they, you know, want me to or doing something for free and they'll block me or ignore me. <laughs> Cause I'm like, listen, I already have so much free content out. And there are times when God would tell me, Hey, this person right here, I want you to, you know, give them, you know, whatever, or do this for them. And I'll, I'll obey God and I will do that. Right. But they are so grateful. Like whenever you have a grateful heart and you're obedient to God, that unlocks so much favor for you that unlocks doors for you i don't know about you but growing up you know i'm the oldest of four my mom did not play about disrespect towards her or towards other people my mom as some of you guys know passed away when i was 11 years old but one of the things that she instilled in us was honor and respect 
for those for other people and so all four of us today my sim we are very respectful very respectful yes ma'am no ma'am right if i you know call someone or um you know to someone who has what i need or what i want to to do and they give me a prize price that you know i can't afford right now i say hey thank you for, you know for your time but right now i don't have it that's okay but for me to sit here and have an attitude you know stick my nose up over my eyes being disrespectful about what they tell of me that's so rude that is so disrespectful and god does not honor that okay so enough about that so you guys who are consumers just repent just pray ask god to renew your mind ask god to renew your heart um ask god for clarity and more direction because he desires for you to have breakthrough okay um the next one here is for creators okay god said be encouraged for creators who you are working and you're plowing and you're doing what God's asking you to do, but you're not really seeing like the fruit of that yet. God said, keep going. Um, some of you guys have experienced this too from people who are consumers who have been very um, disrespectful um, towards you or throw shade because of what you are charging for your own, for your stuff. Right. Let me go down a little bit. God gave me this right here. He said Galatians chapter 6 and 7 through 10 that God is he said do not be deceived. God is not mine. For whatever a man sows, he will also reap. For he who sows through his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose hearts or do not give up. Therefore, as we have an opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who are of the household of faith. And so God is saying, yeah, just keep going. Don't stop pouring out. Don't start cre stop creating your content because of the people. You're always going to have people who think that way, unfortunately. And then Matthew 7 and 6 says this, do not give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn and tear you into pieces. My God. And so let me tell you all this. Okay, this one right here is good. Okay. And so what God is saying here for um creators, he was saying that, you know, sometimes because we're trying to build you know our platform or build our business we will compromise we'll compromise our pricing we'll compromise what we offer um in order to get that client but if that person is already ungrateful if that person is already showing signs of entitlement right god said don't deal with them do not give your pearls to swine okay and then he said this like oh right here says right here nor cast your pearls before swine at least they trample them under their feet and turn and tear you into pieces. This right here means that no matter what you do, they will never be happy. <laughs> no matter if you give them like a 50% discount, whatever it is, if it's free, it will never be enough because they have a spirit of entitlement, a spirit of entitlement. Okay. My God. Hebrews chapter 6 and 10 says this, for God is not unjust to forget your work and labor of love, which you have shown toward his name in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. My God. Oh, my God. So he is not going to forget your work and the labor of love you have put in to creating what he's calling you. And he has told you to create. My God, I know for a fact there's so many creators up here on social media who are doing God's work, who are building the kingdom of God. Right. For free. Right. If you have books and different things. Right. That's great. If you have programs. That's great. And I will say this, too. Right everybody's on different levels okay of their expertise different levels of their influence different levels of, wh of whatever it is they're doing right and so of course right we should be making sure that we're charging where our level of expertise is right you know i'm not going to charge somebody a thousand dollars a session until i get there <laughs> you get what i'm saying but what i'm saying is like we have to charge according to our expertise uh the results we get and things like that and just so like don't be arrogant now don't be feeling like you know you should charge these high prices in order to get you know clients but what god is saying is that he is not going to forget your work and labor of love. Okay? It's, like, it's labor, a labor of love whenever you're operating from a pure spirit. Okay. 
Um, Luke 6 and 38 says this, give and it will be given to you. Good measure, press, press down, shaken together and running over will, will be put into your lap. But with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Oh my God, y'all, that was so good. And so this is all I have that God told me to come up here and share once again. I had no intentions of doing this teaching today or this word today. But um, the Lord put it on my heart really heavy this morning. Even this morning, I said, God, this morning I got stuff to do. I got to do this. I got to do that. He was like, no. <laughs> he said, you could do it later, but my word needs to go forth today. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, God, okay, okay. So here I am trying to compromise with God. But I know that somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to hear um this message today. Um, I know for some of you will come back and watch a replay on my YouTube channel or wherever it is, right? Um, to hear what the Lord is saying to creators and consumers on social media, okay? Um, so I'm going to pray this out, and then um, I'll be done. But, but before I end, I am having a workshop uh, next month called Be Relentless. It's called Prophetic Vision Planning, where I will be um, showing you guys how I plan, giving you feedback, giving you strategy. I'm going to hear what the Lord is saying about your specific situation. So if you want to join that, go to the link in my bio or my profile to learn more about that. It's going to be amazing. You have a client portal with worksheets, um, information in there. It's going to really help you to start working in with the Holy Spirit to plan out your year for 2024. Oh, hey, uh, thank you so much, sis. Thank you so much, um, Tartarian Tompkins. Great words. Thank you so much. And so, yes, if you want to come to that, um, register. It's going to be amazing. Um, I'm also having a uh, Christian therapist virtual meetup on Monday, December the 4th as well. Uh, it's going to be amazing as well. Right now, we're at capacity as far as like event bright registration. If you want to attend, um, just let me know. I can send you the link to register. Um, and so, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to pray and then I'll be done. OK, so, Father, I just thank you for your word today. I pray, God, that your people uh, will receive your word. I pray, God, that they will repent and come to you. Lord God, I'm asking you to just purify their hearts, Lord, and help them to understand that, God, you're trying to get something to them. My God, and that, God, whenever they obey you and they sow into what you're calling them to sow in, the Lord, they should reap a harvest in due season. Father, I pray, God, for uh Christian um, content creators who are up here, who are working hard, who are doing what God's asking them to do, that God, you put a fresh wind in their back, the Holy Spirit, you would give them encouragement, God, that God, you continue to give them strategy, continue to give them insight, Lord, continue to guide them, and God, continue to provide for them, and so God, I thank you that you are a good, good father, and that God, you love each and every single one of us, and you desire, God, to see us go from faith to faith and to glory to glory, and so Father, we thank you for your word once again, just name I pray. Amen. And amen. All right. That's all I have. Let me check uh Instagram real quick for any comments. Uh, some of you guys were coming on and off. Okay. Amen. All right. So I'll see you guys next time. What that will be, I'm not sure. <laughs> all right. Bye, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. Our prayer is that this podcast episode has blessed you. Don't forget to go and subscribe and leave us a raving review. If you would like to sow into this ministry or to this podcast, Pain, Passion, and Purpose, you can do so at Anchor FM slash Pain, Passion, and Purpose or Cash App dollar sign Shakita Torres. Thank you so much and I will talk to you next time.